no matter how hard I try, I don't think this review will be small. But it might be. It just might be. What if I can keep it ant size? I'll try, but I won't guarantee you I could get giant instead. Anyhow, I'm John Barry, and welcome to my review of Ant-Man. Ant-Man is the last film in the MCU Phase 2, so expect a week break before my reviews of the Phase 3 films. But um, moving on to the review proper, um, Ant-Man was released on July 7th and 20... Sorry, July 17th in, in 2015. It was directed by Peyton Reed, and the screenwriters and the, the couple of them was Ego Wright and Joel Cornish and Adam McKay and Paul Rudd, and it was produced by Kevin Feige. So this film, like Guardians and Galaxy, is more comedic, but it's also, I would say, a bit more um, wholesome about it, because our main character, Ant-Man, or Scott Lang, his main goal is really just to get enough income so he can be with, so that way he can have at least limited custody over his daughter. At the end, he ends up basically repairing his relationship with his ex-wife, though she still remains an ex, but also a, gets a good relationship, a friendship with his, his ex-wife's husband, which I'm just saying, that doesn't always happen. And I don't know for sure, but media always tells me it doesn't always happen, so if you, you can always trust media, right? <laughs> um, but anyhow, um, Scott, so Scott Lang is recruited by Hank Pym to break into Hank Pym's own company and steal some base and steal basically the work of the current current I guess um, um CEO of Hank's company Hank Pym's company um, and to prevent basically the, the shrinking technology being reproduced especially because. Hank Pym knows that the current CEO will not use the responsibility and just sell it to the highest bidder. And, yeah, that's where we get. And we also, we get, you no, know, and this is probably the one of the films that we get the most of our hero learning to be a hero, not just, you know, um, being a hero outright. Because think, you get that a little bit maybe in the Guardians of the Galaxy and probably also Soul, but Soul knew how to be a hero. He just didn't know what it meant to be a hero. Meanwhile, I think Scott Lang knows what it meant to be a hero. He just didn't know how to be one for lack of for a, a comparison. But most MCU heroes, in the first film, even the origin story, they are already heroes. Maybe Iron Man's the least one who was like a hero, but he becomes a hero. Then he has to learn what it means to be a hero for him and all that. Um, but him, he figured out, I think, pretty quickly, he just had to internalize it, for lack of a better term. But Ant-Man is where we really get to see the hero becoming the hero, learning the, the skills and all that to be the hero. Not just inventing the stuff to be the hero, or learning the moral lesson that allows him to be the hero. Actually learning to use the stuff that, basically, for lack of term, his gimmick. Um, because there's actually a scene where Ant-Man infiltrates the new Avengers f facility, just thinking it was just a Sark Industries warehouse to get a piece of technology that Hank Pym needs, and encounters um, Falcon, and Falcon comments like, everyone's got the gimmick nowadays, which I think is kind of, which was kind of fun, you know, just poke fun at the idea that every superhero has to be somehow distinct and unique from each other. Though. Which in some ways, us the audience do expect that. We always complain when things are too similar, I think. Um, but Ant-Man is a pretty good film. Not only does, you know, Hank Pym is able to spend time with his daughter at the end of the film, um, but he develops a friendship with his, his ex-wife's hus new husband and also repairs his relationship with his ex-wife. But also gets in, also starts developing a relationship with, um, with Hank Pym's daughter, Hope. So, yeah. He seems to be in a pretty good place doing all of this. So, we get to see more of him in Ant-Man and the Wasp, which I still haven't watched yet because I gotta wait till it's on Disney+. Plus. But thankfully it's in Phase 3, so I got some time there. But also in um, Avengers Endgame as well, which got some of, I, th I think, some of Scott Lang's, as a character, um, best moments. I really do think that, but this is not the review or place for it. This is not the place of review for it. 
So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Um, let me know what you thought of Ant-Man, anything you'd like to add. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you found yourself enjoying the video at any time, please be sure to leave a like. And feel free to check me out on social media, Facebook and Twitter. Links are in the description. As are the links for my Discord server and my Patreon page if you'd like to help support this channel. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And feel free to check out either the video or the playlist on screen now. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. Have a good one. Bye!